Hello and welcome to Bottoms Down, chair yoga for everyone. I'm Carol. I'm so glad you've joined us today. Check out the sections on the Bottoms Down YouTube channel homepage. They just make it easier for you to find classes by length or purpose or body area. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. It's free and we would love to hear from you, so leave a comment. In today's practice, we'll explore poses for tension relief. You'll only need your chair, and let's get started. All right, we're going to move forward in our chair so we're not leaning back. Let's go ahead and take a moment to ground those feet to the floor, thinking about having those four pressure points in each foot equally weighted on the floor. And then we're going to think about grounding our sits bones to the chair so we're equally weighted. We're not leaning one way or the other. Let's place our hands on our thighs. Flip those palms up to the ceiling if that works for you. Close your eyes and let's connect to that heart center. Focusing in on what you want to accomplish today. Beginning to notice that breath. If it works for you, let's inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Begin to elongate that breath, inhaling a little more deeply and exhaling a little more completely. Moving into that diaphragmatic breath, that belly breath, the yoga breath. As we inhale, the belly extends as we fill the lungs from the bottom up. And as we exhale, actively pull the belly button towards the spine and push the air up and out of the lungs. Do that a few times. Go ahead and breathe normally. We're going to inhale to four counts and exhale to five. See if you can maintain that belly breath. Inhale two, three, Four, exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart and set your intentions for today's practice. Focusing on what you want to accomplish. One more breath here. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. Let's just look over that right shoulder very gently. We're not trying to overextend that neck, just nice and gentle. Let's go ahead and look center and then we're going to look the other way. We're going to look center. Let's do that one more time. And look center and the other way. I don't know about you, but I hear crinkle, crackle, cr crunch whenever I move my head that way. Let's roll those shoulders just a little bit. I know, right? It's all good. And let's reverse that roll. All right. So, You've got two options here. One is to clasp the hands behind your back and squeeze your shoulder blades and lift your heart. The other is just to go ahead and grab the back of your chair if that feels a little bit better for you, okay? Your choice, either is fine. All right, so I'm gonna clasp my hands behind my back. I'm gonna lift my heart up wherever you are. Lift that heart up first and squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back. Okay, we're gonna do some little nose circles. So that nose is just making a tiny little circle just a tiny, tiny little circle. And now we're going to begin to make that circle a little bit bigger. 
and a little bit bigger. So just kind of like thinking about uncoiling a spring or something, right? Just a little bit bigger, and now we're going to go ahead and make it pretty big, and now just as big as you can possibly make it. Now don't lose that squeeze behind your back, okay? So that's kind of the key to this one. Let's go ahead and stop those circles, and we're going to reverse them, all right? So let's start big first. Big circles around, and then you're going to just tighten that coil, and tighten that coil, and tighten that coil. Don't lose that squeeze behind the back, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny circles now. Tiny circles, tiny circles, tiny circles, and release. Woo! Do a little shoulder sh uh, roll there. Oh my goodness. Maybe you do one at a time, right? If you prefer that, that's all right too. Excellent. All right. So we're going to move into some pelvic tilts. And um, if you feel right here on your hips, you've got two really pointy bones on the pelvis. So we're going to take those pointy bones and we're going to rock them towards our shoulders. So I'm going to turn just so you can see me. You stay facing me, but so you can see me a little bit better. See, I'm rocking hip tips to shoulders and I've got a little pelvic tilt happening there. And then we're going to do hip tips to knees. And now I've got a pretty nice uh, you know, arch to that back. Let's do that again. For back, hip tips to shoulders, and then hip tips to knees. Let's keep doing that a couple more times here. Let's add a breath. Let's inhale as we go to our shoulders, and then exhale as we externally rotate, and do that again. Internally and externally. Just one more. Such a nice warm up for that spine. It's also a release of tension in that low back. So not only do we hold our tension, as I'm gonna chat here for just a minute, let's go ahead and move down into our mountain pose. So we're gonna start by bringing our hands out by our side. Palms are gonna face out if that works for you. That's just gonna open those shoulders a little bit more and you're kind of pressing those fingertips down towards the floor. So we do hold tension in our neck and, and uh, upper back and all of that, but we also hold tension in our hips and in our low back. So we'll be doing some work in that area as well today. All right, now we're gonna move into those goal post arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades back behind you. And then we're gonna shoot our fingertips up to the ceiling, but we're gonna leave those shoulders down, all right? Now, with your right hand, grasp that left wrist, lengthen through, and then lean. Oh yeah, that should feel really good. Now, as you lean, you wanna press this opposite hip down, okay? So really lengthening through that sideways. Let's come up, we're gonna grab the other wrist, we're gonna lengthen up first and lean. Oh yeah, that feels so good. Let's come up and let's bring those hands down. We're gonna do that one more time, just like that. Down we go. So I'm trying to get those fingertips down towards the floor. My heart is lifted, extending through the spine, go post arms, squeeze the shoulder blades behind your back. You got it. Up we go to the ceiling. Now with our left hand, we're gonna grab that right wrist and lengthen first and lean. Oh, that feels good. Remember to press that opposite hip down. Up we go. Let's lengthen towards the ceiling first and lean. Up we go and release. Excellent work. Just a little roll. Anytime you want to roll those neck and that shoulder, those are that's fine. <laughs> okay, with your right hand, you're going to place your hand on the outside of that opposite knee. Opposite hand is going to come onto the chair behind your hips. Now you're going to pull this shoulder back first and just simply turn and look over that shoulder. It's not a deep twist, just feeling that beginning stretch through the sideways, the center of the body, right? One more breath here. Let's go ahead and face forward. We're going to do the other side. This hand to the outside of that knee. Opposite hand on the chair. Lengthen through the spine first. Turn and look. Just one more breath here. Go ahead and face center. Take a deep breath in. 
and a full breath out. And let's grab a sip of water. We're going to come to standing behind our chair. So as you stand behind your chair, make sure you've got your feet a good solid hip distance apart. We want to have a, a nice solid base. Your hands can rest here on the chair for a moment. Okay, so think about belly is tight throughout this entire movement. We're going to interlace our fingers or if you want to just cut them, it's fine, right? I'm not huge on interlacing my fingers. I tend to prefer to cut, but I'll let you choose which one you want to do. All right, we're going to bring our hands up and behind our head. So as you're here, think about lifting through the chest and the elbows are going to stay back. All right. So now we're going to slowly tuck our chin round the spine and let the head fall. We're not going to pull on the neck and we're going to let those elbows fall forward. Okay, are we ready? Extending. Here we go. Slowly tuck that chin. Remember, belly stays tight. And then you're going to let your elbows just simply fall forward. But I don't want you to pull on the neck. You're just letting gravity give yourself a little extra tug on that neck, right? Just gently here. We're holding and we're breathing. We just have one more breath. We're going to lift back up, bringing those elbows nice and wide. Lift up. Okay, we're going to do that again. So here we go. We're going to pull that belly in, tuck the chin. Go ahead and begin to release. Elbows are going to come towards the floor. Now, as you're in this position, I want you to really let your jaw relax. Just breathe into the stretch, feeling and inviting openness into that neck and upper back. We're not holding our breath. We're just breathing. Two more breaths here. One more breath here. We're going to lift up nice and slow. We're going to bring those elbows nice and wide. Big stretch open. And release. Woo! So just do a few little movements here. That was a, for me anyway, that's quite a stretch. Whew. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to take just a step back a little bit. We're going to move into a forward fold with our hands on the back of the chair. So again, we're maintaining that sta stabilizing position with our feet nice and wide, right? Or at least hip distance apart. We're going to pull our belly button in. Our hands are on the back of the chair, all right? So now, keeping the back flat, you're going to let your heart fall forward. Okay, you're holding on to the chair. Now, when you get to the position where your back is flat and your head, you're just kind of as far down as you can go, if you want a little bit more, you're going to go ahead and drop your head between your arms. So you should be feeling the back really stretching here. Okay, we just have one more breath. Go ahead and roll it up nice and slow. Don't want you to get dizzy, right? And come back up. Okay. So now, what, what we're going to add on, you can keep doing it just like that if you want, but what we're going to add on if you want to is, I'm going to step back just a little bit further. So when we're down here, 
we're going to pull our shoulder blades behind, so it kind of externally rotating those shoulders back, squeezing the shoulder blades behind us, and then we're going to bend one knee, and we're going to turn and look, all right? And we'll come up, and we'll bend the other knee, and we'll turn and look. Does that make sense? Okay, let's give it a try. See what you think. Okay, so our hands are on the chair. I've stepped, again, I have stepped back just a little bit further so that I can really, now I can, when I, when I let my heart fall forward, I feel like I'm getting a little more stretch into those shoulders, all right? So here we go. Keep your belly tight, though. Come back down into that flat back first. So that's the position. Now from here, you're going to let that head fall. Okay, squeeze your shoulder blades behind your back, bend your right knee, and you're going to turn, and you're going to look at the opposite direction. So my side waist is stretching. I'm getting a nice stretch to the shoulders. All right, let's straighten that leg. Go ahead and look back down at, your, at your, the floor, if you will, and let's bend the other knee, and we're going to look the other direction. Let's straighten that leg. Go ahead and look down. See if you can let your heart fall any further. One more breath here, and we're going to roll it up nice and slow. Okay, very, very good. Excellent. So now I'm going to come a little bit closer to my chair. I'm a little too far away from it, from that position. I got a, my nose is itching. I'm sorry. Okay. So we're going to take our right hand and we're going to place it on the, the back of the chair and the other hand is going to come back by my, behind my seat and I'm just going to pull this shoulder back and look. Okay, so that's the first version of this twist and it's just fine. It's a great immersion. I'm getting a nice stretch through the center of the body. We're going to go ahead and look forward and we're going to go the other way. So pull this shoulder back first, and then look, okay? And we're gonna come center. Okay, so again, that's a great version. If you want a little bit more, the diff only difference in the next version is we're gonna try to keep our hips facing forward. So I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna place it more on the, the opposite side of the chair. So instead of here, it's here. But, and now all of a sudden my hips want to move, right? I want you to keep those hips forward. Same thing, pull this shoulder back, bring your hand back by your tush, turn and look, but keep those hips forward. So you're gonna stretch a little bit more, not only feeling the sideways, but I'm feeling my shoulders. Keep those shoulders down, out of the ears. My neck is feeling a little stretch too. One more breath, we're gonna face forward. And let's do the other side. So this hand is going to come on the opposite end side of that chair. The key here is keeping those hips forward. All right. If you, if you let the hips move, you're going it, to, it's the same as the previous stretch. And there's nothing wrong with it. All right. This hand is going to come back. Keep those hips forward. Pull this shoulder back. Turn and look. It's just different, right? I'm trying to give you options so that you feel a little bit different stretch. That's all. Let's do just one more breath here. We're gonna go ahead and release that and we're gonna face forward. Okay, so we're gonna thread the needle. And again, I'm gonna step back just a little bit further, but my hands do stay on the back of the chair. We're gonna move into that forward fold. And then if you wanna look at me real quick, sometimes I think it's easier than when you already get into it and you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. So we're gonna come forward like we did with our forward fold. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand and we're going to extend it up and then we're going to bring it through, palms facing up, and my ear is going to be down towards the floor. It's, it looks like nothing, but it's quite a stretch, okay? You're going to be feeling it in the shoulders and in the neck and even some into that side waist. And then when we get in there, we're going to hold it for just a bit, all right? We're going to kind of settle in into that and just hold that. Uh, position for a little bit. All right, so are we ready? Put your hands on the on the back of the chair. Come into that 
flat back forward fold. So just a flat back. So we're not trying to get our head all the way down to the floor. We're just going to stay in this position of a forward fold. Okay, are we ready? All right, let's start with the right hand. It doesn't really matter. Let's bring it up first. So I'm kind of following my hand with my gaze, and then I'm going to bring it through. Palm's going to face up. Now my right ear is down towards the mat. And I'm holding it, and I'm breathing. My knees are soft, right? So you don't want to be twisting in the hips. The hips stay facing forward, but you don't want to have those knees locked out either. Let's do that again. Hand comes up. I'm following it with my gaze. I'm bringing it through. That hand palm is facing up, and I'm looking at my palm. I'm holding and I'm breathing. Let's come up one last time. That hand comes up. My hips are staying stable. I'm pushing that hand through. Palm is facing up. One more breath, release that, come up to standing, and take a moment, okay? All right, so let's do the other side. So here we go. We're going to put our hands here on the chair. We're going to let that heart fall forward. We keep the back flat, soft uh, knees, right? So we just have that little soft bend to the knees. All right, here we go. Left hand, it comes up. And we're going to bring it through. I'm following that hand with my gaze. Palm is facing up. Hips stay forward. Let's do that again. Up we go. Bring that hand through. Stretching. Really lengthening. That palm is up. We're stretching that hand through. Let's come up. All right. This is it. We're going to come through. That ear is towards the mat, and we're going to hold. We're going to sink into it. S knees are soft. Hips are facing forward. Belly is tight. You should really be feeling, I'm feeling my hips. I'm feeling my side waist. I'm feeling my, my shoulders, my neck. We have one more breath here. We're going to go ahead and come up nice and slow. And breathe. Least. I don't know if you heard that, but that was my knee that just cracked. Okay, let's go ahead and have a seat. Now, if you uh, like to get into the floor ever, you can do that, that exact uh, movement that we just did from your tabletop all four position where you bring that hand up and through that thread the needle and it's a really nice one because you can get your shoulder onto the mat. You just get a little bit deeper stretch into the upper back. So if you want to ever try that one. It's a great one. All right. So let's take that deep inhalation and that complete exhalation. And grab a sip of water. You're going to let your arms just fall down by your side. So thinking about those shoulders are just like weights. The arms are weighting those shoulders down. Keep your belly nice and tight to stabilize your spine. You're going to begin to move those shoulders back and down. So we're squeezing our shoulder blades behind our back. Our hands are down by our side. Bring your chin to your chest, and we're going to hold this position for several breaths. Don't hold your breath, just breathing natural. We have one more breath here. We're going to release the shoulders first. Go ahead and roll and look up and take just a moment. Okay? Okay, we're going to do that again. We let those hands fall by our side. So feel the weight pulling those shoulders down. Now we're going to slowly move your shoulders back and down. Bring your chin to your chest. 
and hold and breathe. Don't hold your breath, just hold the position. Breathe naturally. One more breath here. Release the shoulders. Go ahead and look up. We're going to do that one more time. Let those hands fall down. Feel those shoulders dropping. Squeeze your shoulders behind you. Bring your chin down to your chest. Hold and breathe. We have one more breath here. Release the hands. Release that. Bring the head up and release it. If you want to roll those shoulders a little bit, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. So for the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to drop our chin first towards our chest, and then we're going to be bringing our gaze kind of back behind our shoulder. Okay, so you'll be, <clears throat> excuse me, dropping, and then you'll be looking, and then you'll come down, and we'll look the other way. Okay, we'll take it nice and slow. Again, our arms are down by our side, letting the shoulder, the weight of the arms really pull those shoulders down. Okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to pull that belly button in, and we're going to take our gaze down, dropping that chin, taking the gaze down to the lap. Okay. Now from here, you're going to turn your gaze, and you're going to look over that left shoulder. We just have one more breath here. Bring the gaze back down to your lap. And then you're going to be looking over the other shoulder. So it's not just to the side. I really, you need to feel that like you're trying to look over the shoulder to really maximize the stretch in that neck. Again, these are scaling stretches. Bring the head down. Really feel that back of the neck stretching before you go to the other side. Kind of making that big circle feeling right. We're looking over that shoulder. That neck is really, really stretching. Hands stay down by your side, feeling those shoulders down towards the floor. Let's go ahead and look down at your lap. Last time, here we go. Last side, looking over that opposite shoulder. One more breath here. Go ahead and look back down at your lap. Release the shoulders and look up. Oh, or look towards me. That is quite uh, a stretch for me. I don't know if you felt it or not, but... Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to do a little isometric resistance uh, stretching here. So you're going to look straight ahead. Um, and you, your chin is tucked. Your head is long, right? Not chuck, chuck tucked back like this, but just a natural, I want you to have a nice long spine, okay? So now you're going to take your palm and you're going to place it on your forehead and you're going to apply pressure. So I'm pressing in with my palm and I want you to resist the movement. So your head is pressing forward. So I want you to resist the palm pressing back. Does that make sense? Release it and we're going to do that again. Palm comes up, applies pressure to the forehead, resist that movement. Don't hold your breath, just hold the, the pressure here. Release it. We're going to do that again. Palm comes, applies pressure, your forehead resists that movement. And release. Now, we're going to, I like doing this one with both palms. You can do it with one. I'm going to do it with both. So now the hands are on the back of my head and I'm going to press the back, my head back into my hand. So again, it's that isometric. You're resisting that movement. Hold it and release it. Let's do that again. Pressing the back of the head into the palms of the hands and the palms of the hands forward. 
and release it. Last one. Press it back. Hold it. Breathe. One more breath and release. Give it just a couple of shoulder rolls there if you want. Mm. Okay. So now we're going to begin uh, again. We're going to look down. We're going to, I'm sorry, we're going to look forward and feel the lengthening through the spine with that natural chin tuck. Okay. Roll your shoulders back and down engaging the muscles in the back. All right. Now maintain this tension and I want you to slowly tilt your head backwards so that you're looking up at the ceiling. We're going to tuck our chin and we're going to look down at the floor. Let's do that again. We're going to look up. And we're going to look down. And release. Man, those are some good stretches, right? For the neck. I don't know if you felt it, but I did. Okay. So we're now going to move into a seated pigeon pose. So I'm going to take my ankle and I'm going to place it here on my knee. Remember, you can always cross ankle to ankle if that feels better for you. But I've got ankle to knee and I'm going to extend through the spine and I'm going to let my heart fall forward. Seated pigeon pose, we're getting a nice stretch into that hip and glute area. We're going to go ahead and lift that heart up. Just flutter your butterfly wing a little bit. And we're going to do that same thing again. Extend through the spine, pull that belly in, let the heart fall forward. If you want to gently press on this leg, you can. Maybe give you a little bit more stretch, your choice. Go ahead and lift up, and let's put that leg down. We're going to the other side, all right? So remember, ankle to ankle is fine if you want to do it that way, or you can do ankle to knee. Extending through the spine, pull the belly in, let the heart fall forward. Seated pigeon. Let's go ahead and lift up. Flutter that butterfly wing a little bit if you want. Extend the spine long. Let that heart fall forward. Remember, if you like to press a little bit here, that's fine. Let's go ahead and come up. Place that foot on the floor. Go ahead and sit back. You can lean back if you wish. Place your hands lightly on your thighs. Flip those palms up to the ceiling. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. What life is already. Let go of the need for anything to be different. Allow yourself to be fulfilled by everything that is. Let go of your obsession with getting. Center your energy and awareness on being. Let your goals and dreams push you toward a bright and fulfilling future, but don't let them blind you to the immense abundance that is right now. Work your plans, honor your obligations, and fulfill your duties. Do it all from a positive and authentic living presence. Discover again and again that joy is now. Live the reality that true happiness is yours the instant you choose to let it flow from you. Live not from need, but from love, and see what a magnificent thing life already is. 
take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with your right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that opposite hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with the left hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that opposite hand down towards the floor. Resist it. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. I really appreciate it. If you would click on that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. I will see you next time.